Hello YouTube, it is the good point of right now. Today I'm going to be showing you Luke Miner. It's a project that I've been making over the past couple months. Um, it started on a weekend where it was uh, just a bunch, of, a bunch of different colored blocks all put together um, in one big block and you can mine those. But right now pretty much what it is, it's you're able to create blocks, it's multi-textured, um, a skybox, an infinite plane that you can't go underneath. This is sort of keep everything together. So this is the game right now, and it's loading screen. It's splash screen, as it's sometimes called. Let's wait for this to load. Right now, what it's doing is it's creating all these different blocks that you can see here. So the controls are: we can move using the arrows or W A S and D, and we can move our camera around or turn our camera our uh, translator camera right here using these um up down left and right or we could use i j k and l which i find easier so i'm going to show you that i i would like to let you guys know that the source is available along with the builds if you don't want the source for uh the blitz 3d sdk and blitz max uh, which both work together to create the, f the final game here. Now uh, let's get started. So what we can do is we can build different blocks. That's a little error that I have right there, but the rest of the block looks pretty good, actually. Um, as you can see, the rest of the block has uh, actually texturing, right? But I just never really got around to fixing that one part. I guess I will eventually. Um, so what we can do is we can build these blocks here. Now this is the first data file, which uh, as you can see, it generates um, the, uh, it uses an array, it's a big long process of how it chooses which uh, which block to build for the big ground here, but you can see it's, just, it's in the same deal here, because we can then uh, access that block by switching over using the right control in that same alt area. Now we can also use um, right alt and left alt to navigate between the block sets. Uh, the T right there means that it's transparent, so as you can see these blocks are semi-transparent. Uh, they're transparent at alpha value of between 0 and 1, 0 0.35. And that's using the Blitz 3D SDK functions for alpha and entities. Um, then also what we can do is we can do a, um, a full colored block. So these blocks here are all one color there's no ground underneath it or whatever and that's mainly used for building like a brick like red right here is a brick um... we can also delete by clicking left click right click adds left click deletes um... and you can pretty much add anywhere on the uh... on the system here now, the way that you can tell what you're gonna add is for the um... first all it will only display if you're going to click on a side it's going to it's going to change colors on the sides or the top it's going to change colors on the top now for the other ones there's some surface problems um like 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 so like uh, to let you guys know this is still an alpha um but uh, as you can see with these it colors the whole block and with uh these as well it colors the whole block but that pretty much shows you which side you're going to build, which block you're going to build off of. Now, say we removed all these blocks at the bottom here, the game would be kind of finished. There wouldn't be much to do. But, we're not going to do that, right? So, um, pretty much here, uh, you're able to build multicolored blocks. It's like Minecraft, Infinite Miner would be a better way to put it. Right now, it's single player. But I plan to add networking functions later on in the game's life. Now, um, the whole reason I built this is actually for a, uh, a class that I'm going to be teaching next year at my school. So, I haven't really worked on it much. I've been having to prepare the lesson plans. But if any of you guys want to add on to it or maybe even do some Perlin noise, if you guys know what that is, uh, some voxel map generation, something of that sort. I'll go ahead and contact me, please, because I just can't figure that out right now. <laughs> uh, I've been working on it for days, and I just can't figure out how to how to produce uh, with it with the content that I have here. How to turn that into a big voxel map, infinite uh, infinite map like such in uh, Minecraft. So if you can figure that out, please contact me. 
via PM on YouTube and um, I will now show you guys the files you need to worry about so escape closes that window um, bottom right here is always the bottom brick um, I made these in Photoshop which uh, that's fun just making a whole bunch of different bricks now as you can see we have our side bricks here which are the side brick um, side the side of the brick which shows the top layer as well as the side and the bottom all oh, it's not really the texturing system is kind of weird but if you want to look at the texturing system you can go into um loaders and loaders help dot bmx and those will show you what you need to learn about that um the blocks one two and three dot data files i will explain those here brick one like or the first the first uh line here pretty much is brick one dot bmp which is the top side brick one dot bmp is the side brick and that's always the second line um bottom dot bmp is the bottom brick and also if you guys remember on the actual game it would show a uh a picture representing the block now that would be uh the that would be that that image right there normally bmps pngs and jpgs are supported i believe tgas may be supported for textures but not for the images um, not and it, it can either be not or it can be transparent right here, all under all uh, lowercase actually. So um, what that does is it uh, it'll tell you what it not means that it's not transparent at all. So it's all it has an alpha value of one, which means that there's no transparency in it, no alpha. Um, alpha val or transparent value of transparent. Uh, means that it has a transparency alpha value of 0 0.35 as I was describing earlier in the video um, and pretty much the way these work here is you're able to go through and uh, and um, create the uh, the blocks here as you as you'd like now the way that it works is they all every one starts with one and can go for as many as you want now what that does, the more that you put in actually will make it go slower because it has to load more. Well actually the loading time will be slower, the actual execution time should not be slower. Now um, uh, the blocks one means that this is the first one, the block one and then um, what I forget which I think it's like 11 is the one that we're actually, uh, or 10 or 10 or 11 is the one that we're actually going to be um, displaying the uh as the uh, as a ground brick now um in blocks two you can make your own block at blocks one you should probably leave the loan but you can make your own blocks two and blocks three as long as you have all the textures and uh and images in line um i kind of give you a rundown there uh the license here is licensed under the gnu gpl v2 as some of you guys may know so you can copy it, but make sure that it's under that same license if you could. And um, the README will pretty much describe everything that you need to know uh, for control wise and um, developer. It just remind you all that kind of stuff that you need to know about about developing uh, textures and all that kind of stuff for the game. So have fun with this. Uh, if you need the source, like what I've been just describing here for the developers recently, um, just go ahead and PM me. I'll send you a copy of it via email. Uh, I also have it uploaded to Ola, and I also have it uploaded to um, GitHub, I believe, but I don't think it's the current version. Um, and then also I'm going to be keeping it uploaded on a Ripway. The Ripley links aren't going to be up to... I'm not going to really send you guys the Ripley links. I don't want you guys uh, downloading from Ripway so I have a plan Z which means that I won't, I don't have much download speed download ban, download bandwidth uh, capacity so download speed is fine but the bandwidth is, isn't that great so pretty much this is what I've been working on recently and um... have fun with it <laughs>